up, guys? Free Yang Gang stickers, Andrew Yang stickers. First you get a free sticker, then you get $1,000 a month. Andrew Yang, 2020 stickers. What's up, man? Dude, I love that suit, man. Fucking crushed it. Very nice. What is your name? What's that? Yang Gang! Yang Gang! Yang! My name is Eddie, I'm from the Bronx. Hi, the Eddie. Bronx is Yang Gang. Yes, hi. The Bronx is Yang Gang. What's going on lately? Uh, any good news about Andrew Yang? Uh, Andrew Yang, so he uh, he's one uh, poll away from making the next debate stage in November, and uh, he's gonna do it because I think a lot of people that are walking by that I've talked to, they really like that he's just a normal human person who also were at Comic-Con, and like everyone's like, yeah, I know that guy, he plays video games, he does all the stuff that I did in high school, he's like normal, so uh, he's great, Like, and it's so easy to talk to people about Andrew Yang because Andrew Yang is like everybody. I am New York Yang Gang, uh, yeah. Queens, yes. So tell me a little bit about how you became a Yang Gang. You know, I heard about him a long time ago in 2017, and I thought it was silly. But then, you know what? When I heard more about him on Joe Rogan, and I actually heard him talk, this guy makes a ton of sense, really intelligent, and I think his programs and his policies are really going to transform America and bring a lot of people out of poverty. Because I think a lot of people in the Midwest are going to hurt when automation comes by and starts uh, taking a lot of the jobs away. We live in Canada, and my daughter loves him, so we're cheering on from the debates because we think he does great in the debates. Yeah, thank you. I'm Ryan Yang, but no. Relation. I found Andrew Yang when I lost all hope in America. I was fed up with what was going on. Too many damn shootings and things needed to stop. So I looked up what the Democrats were doing. Not impressed with any of them until I found the Asian guy. The Asian guy was cool. He was saying some really cool stuff. And I was like, let's do it. We're out here at Comic Con just repping for Andrew Yang. Just trying to tell people about Andrew Yang. I want to make sure they know about all his policies and that he really cares about America and he wants to make America think harder. Yeah, I always just say he's a businessman who's been highly successful in that world, but he looked around, he walked to Washington and told them there's a problem. Americans are losing their jobs to AI and technology and automation and no one's doing anything. Of course our government turned around and said, we don't really do anything, we can't really fix this. And so he said, all right, I'll run for president. So that's what he's doing, and he just wants to soften the blow. The fourth industrial revolution is coming, it's already started, and we really need to figure out solutions. So he offers data-driven solutions to those problems, starting with his freedom dividend, to give everyone a cushion of $12,000 a year, which is $1,000 a month, just to give you a little bit of an income outside of your job, so that you're not completely screwed over when you lose your job to a robot. She's good! Killed it, yeah, killed it. Killed it! Do you have anything addition to say? Uh, no, I mean, she said it perfectly. I'll just say that, you know, a lot of politicians, some, well, there's some politicians that actually care about people, and he's one of them. But he's not just a politician that cares about people. He's a politician that's smart enough to realize what the problems are, and also, even more importantly, how he can effectively fix those problems. And that's why I support Andrew Yang. He's our next president. Tell me why. He's our next president because he's a visionary. He's really the only person that's addressing the problems that Americans care about, that I care about. I want him to be our president so that we can go into the next, the future of automation, the future of politics, and the future of human capitalists with his proposals. I'm gonna give you one of these. Thank you. Because that's what we out here rapping. This is the dude that wants to give everybody $1,000 a month. I already know, I've seen him on Power 105. Oh yeah, the breakfast club, yeah, the right? Breakfast yeah, he did his thing, right? And uh, the thing about I love about that thousand dollars a month is that, like, I have people who are musicians and artists in my family, and they can't make a buck doing their normal shit that we do. Right. So like, the future is basically more people like you doing of your course. thing, right? Because that's, that's like creative. what makes life. Hell yeah, we worth make living. this shit go around. We right. Make the world and go like, around. I wish I could give you more and do more and like all that other shit, but like, hopefully Yo, this, hopefully we get Yang in office, and this is how we get you getting paid more to do more creative shit exactly. and around the community. Cause I'm all for it, and, man. Yeah, man. And anybody who raps with the Wu Tang, man, like yeah. Wu Tang is for the kids, man. Exactly. <laughs> Love it, man. Nice to meet you, dude. Yeah. And Hell, um, yeah. are you gonna Google him? Google Andrew Yang? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, Salute to Andrew Yang. Let's get him in office, y'all. Get this yep. motherfucker Trump the fuck out of here. Word is born, kid. <laughs> yeah. Word is born. Yang, let's get it, kid. Y'all know how we do worldwide. All elements. Wu Tang Clan, Gold Chain Military, we here, y'all. Real hip hop in the essence, live and direct. You know what I mean? Woo! Brooklyn Bravo. forever catch wreck. You know what I mean? Tell me your name. What is your name? Sav Kills, y'all. S A V K I double L Z. One of the illest MCs. You know what I mean? Where this born? Awesome. New York, New York. That's how New we York, do. New York, New York. Awesome. <laughs> 
Uh, we're here at the New York Comic Con, uh, here October 5th. It's National Yang Gang Day. This is, uh, this is we're canvassing. This is a, a movement that we're part of across the nation today from California to Philadelphia and everywhere in between. There's people coming out and just spreading the word about Andrew Yang. So we're doing our part here in New York uh, next to the Comic Con Javits Center. Yeah, so Andrew Yang's campaign just finished Q3 with $10 million in fundraising, which is a huge number for him. It makes a statement to the establishment. It sends him into the fourth quarter with a lot of momentum. He's climbing in the polls um, every day. I think people are more and more curious and they're winning them over one at a time with things like this where we're just firing and raising you know, the Yang gang name. So, um, so there's a lot of optimism and a lot of reason for the existing Yang Gang members to continue to double down in their efforts and to keep drawing in what I like to call the Yang Curious. So we're going to take this all the way to the White House and send Andrew Yang into the Oval Office. Yang Gang 2020. I found Andrew in April of 2018 actually. So I found him very early. And then what I did was I, I, I said, you know, who's this Asian guy running for president? Because I was joking, you know, it would be really funny if there was an Asian person running for president because that never happens, right? And then I, I thought maybe, you know, what is this? Is this some kind of joke? And then I went to his website and I saw that he had like all these policies. I said, wow, this guy's the real deal. He has a policy for artists and musicians, you know, that's so important. No other candidate has anything like that, you know. So as a musician, I feel like I am valued by society by receiving the freedom. Dinner, what is you know the what policy? Thousand dollars a month. Right? Oh, oh, I mean for everybody. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. but but by doing that, it allows me to practice. It allows me to perform or prepare for the things I really want to do. So it, it goes. It all goes back to you know doing the work that you want to do, right, and not being defined by having to work to survive but doing work that you want to contribute to society. And that, I think, is such a crucial thing that many people don't get. And it's so important. That's why I really support you, you know? Oh, Where's oh, right, Let's great. go. Hi, yes, yes. Awesome. Good to meet you. Keep the word alive. Yes. Yeah. Yang Yang exists, for sure. for sure. The more people who know about him, the better it is. This is a great uh, marketing spot. spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? I was inside yesterday. What's up? Ask for Jerry. Jerry. This is a and then Jerry. Jerry. This is tell him perfect Brian target sent demographic. You. Jerry you is want the guy. He's the booth guy. So we're like giving uh, out yeah. 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 Cool. And tell him you need some Andrew Yang uh, swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yang Gang.